The MBX 610 is the bench for someone who needs something basic and affordable. It is solid, great quality and no frills. ATX are renowned for their higher end benches, which pack some pretty flash features. However, not everyone needs all the bells and whistles. Actually, sometimes you just need a simple and solid bench. At the moment, we are selling this bench for 519. Uh, unfortunately, these days, a good quality bench is going to cost around this much. If you have a budget around this, this price range, you're gonna have to make some sort of compromises. If you go for a bench at this price that has loads of features and functions, the quality will suffer. Alternatively, if you wanna get the ATX level quality, the bench is gonna be pretty basic. But as I said, sometimes basic is all you need. For starters, the pads are made from the same materials as some of the more expensive ATX benches. The pad height is the uh, IPF standard of 44 centimeters. They are 27 centimeters wide and a nice five and a half centimeters thick. Trust me, if you get a cheap bench, it will have cheap pads. Whether it is the upholstery or the backing board, once the pad goes, the bench is pretty much rooted. We get so many calls from people chasing pads for benches that are less than a year old. And if you, you, you take a look from behind, you can see how beefy the, the structure of the, the back pad is. By making the design simple, ATX can make the bench rock solid by using 70 mil steel tube. The adjustment ring down here is made from eight mil thick steel plate, and it is similar to the design that they use on the MBX 520 bench. It has nine adjustment positions from flat to upright. Uh, you adjust the positions using the latest ATX pop pin. This is the same pin that they use on their higher end machines. It might not seem like such a big deal, but trust me, pop pins can be an absolute bastard of things if they're not right. Now, these T-style pins do the job and you'll see them on plenty of benches and machines. But if you don't treat them right, they can cause uh, a fair bit of grief. And I'm I might add, you'll see them on equipment that is not cheap. Powertech use them and that is why I know all about them. Personally, I've never broken one after handling thousands of knobs over the years, but I had to replace heaps for people. If the knob was screwed in too tight, you could loosen the, the, the T head when trying to undo it. People would hit them with things if they couldn't loosen them. So it was a constant battle sometimes. Uh, and that is what I like about this bench. Even though it is built to a price point, they've put the best quality parts in the places where you need them most. Now the, the seat pad is a clever design, but may put some people off. In the flat position, the gap is uh, 65 millimeters which may ring some alarm bells. I'm not gonna get into the whole no gap bench thing right now, but here is a, a bloke benching with nice form on an MBX 610, and you'll see his back is arched nicely over the gap. Uh, this gap is just an example of the trade-off to deliver the bench at this price. On the higher end ATX benches, the gap is only 35 millimeters. However, this traditional style design is more complicated and therefore more expensive when it is done right, like ATX do it. So if you learn how to sit your ass on the seat section and arch your back, the gap is not going to be an issue. And I guess that is what I like about this bench. If you are a heavy bencher, then this will be a great value option for you. It is the right IPF height and thanks to the, the thick rubber stopper uh, on the base section, it is really solid in the flat bench position. The frame structure when you look at it is very similar to a heavy duty flat bench. Although this is a cheaper ATX bench and is classified as domestic, 
You can see it being used in gyms and studios in Europe. So for a smaller European gym, I can see the appeal. It has the simple design, so there's less things that can go wrong. Uh, it's under 30 kilos and has wheels, so it is easily moved. And at this price, if you have to buy multiple benches, it is a lot easier on the uh, back pocket at this price. However, the bench has ultimately been designed and built for the home user on a tight budget. My next couple of videos are going to showcase some really amazing ATX designs and technology, but this MBX610 shows the other side of ATX. Um, being able to produce a simple design with quality build and an affordable price.